obtain white and brown cards. Meaning step number one, you find the events to be used. You will say less than you represent white cards and let's B represent brown cards. Now, they say box two contains six white cards and four brown cards. Box two contains two white cards and three brown cards. Then they say the box is picked at random and the card is selected. Meaning, we have two boxes, box B and box Q. Step number one, choose the boxes first. Boxes P and Q have same chance of being selected. Therefore, I'll say step number one, I'll choose box P and I'll choose box Q. These ones have same chances to be selected. But based on our description, we have been told that box P contains six white cards and likewise four brown cards. Likewise, box Q contains two white cards. And then three brown cards. Then they say that uh, a box is selected and a card is selected. A box is selected first and a card is selected. Meaning, I'm only choosing one single card. This is white, this is brown. This is 6 divided by 10, this is 4 divided by 10. This is white, this is brown. This is 2 divided by 5. This is 3 divided by 5. Then they say that, find the probability that, number number 1, a brown card is selected. A brown card can come from box P or from box Q. Therefore, the probability of obtaining a brown card. Brown card, this will become a half times. 4 over 10 plus we are going to have times 3 over 5 this one shall yield 4 over 20 plus this becomes 3 over 10 by 2, 2 by 3 you get 10 giving us 2 over 10 plus 3 over 10 LSTM is the same, giving us LSTM is 10, this becomes 5, giving us answer as a half. And then there was part B which says, find the probability that box 3 is selected, given, given that the card is white. Find the probability that box 3 is selected, given the card is white. This becomes probability of Q, the section W, or the probability of W. Now, Chu and W, Chu and W is on the X, giving us a half times 2 out of 5. This becomes a half times 2 out of 5. 5. Divide by, now, the chance of getting a brown card is a half. Meaning, the chance of getting a white one becomes 1 minus getting a brown, which still becomes a half. This becomes 1 minus a half. This will cancel, giving us 1 out of 5 divided by this one is a half. Giving us 1 out of 5 times 2 out of 1. This will yield 2 divided by 5. Therefore, the probability that a box should be selected given that the card is a white one shall become 2 divided by 5. 2010 paper 2 number 4 they say the probability is the three players A, B, and C score in a netball game are that respectively. The probability of A scoring it is given as one out of five. The probability of B scoring is given as one out of four. The probability of C scoring it is one out of three. And they say if they play together in a game, find the probability 
that only six cores. In this case, these are independent events. The probability that six cores, six cores. It implies when it scores, others won't score. This means we have the probability of a complement, section B complement, the section C. This means only C has scored. This being independent, just multiply them. Now a complement becomes 1 minus this, which becomes 4 over 5, times B complement is 1 minus this, which becomes 3 over 4. They will see alone it's a third. Now this is easy. This will cancel. This will cancel. Giving us 1 out of 5. This one was our Roman number 1. Now basing on Roman 2, they say um, at least one player scores. At least one player scores. At least one means at least one means 1 one scores, two score, then three score. This one means probability of at least one scores. Now for at least one, this is a bit lengthy. This simply means you are having one, which is P, one scoring, A scores, B that is score, C one score, then plus a1 score, then B scores, then C1 score. Plus, probability of A1 score, B1 score, then C1 score. At least one means one and above, meaning one is here, then the two scoring, then also all, all, all scoring at the same pace. This means plus. Probability now for, for two scoring a a section b a section c complements plus probability of a a section b complement a section c a and c this was a and b this is a and c plus lastly now b and c probability of a complement a section b a section c plus lastly all the three scoring giving us probability of A, a section B, a section C. But this one is a bit lengthy. Therefore, what you can do, if they say at least one, it means one scoring, which are these ones, one player is scoring, then two, two are scoring, and then three scoring, you have this. But this was a bit lengthy. What you can do, you would say the probability of at least one scoring shall become one minus probability of no one scoring. A complement, a section B complement, a section C complement at once. One minus, minus the balance to give us this one, all of it. Meaning, this will give us 1 minus this one. Because they are all independent, just multiply them. For a complement, it is 1 minus a, which is 4 over 5. B complement is 1 minus that, which is 3 out of 4. C complement is 1 minus that, which is 2 thirds. These would cancel, these would cancel, giving us 1 minus 2. Divide by 5. This reduces to 3. Divide by 5. And then, this was Roman number 2. And lastly, Roman 3. At least 2. And only 2 score. Meaning 2 alone. Probability of 2. And only 2. This means 2 as scoring. This simplifies to probability of can be A and B scoring. That means B won't see one score. Plus probability of A and A and C. And lastly, probability 
of A, section B, a section C. Now this one will simplify to, for A and B becomes 1 out of 5 times 1 out of 4, then we see complement 1 minus a third becomes 2 thirds. Plus, this one, for A it is 1 out of 5, times B complements, it is 3 out of 4, times C, which is 1 divided by 3. Plus, lastly, A complement, 1 minus that, which is 4 over 5, times B, which is 1 out of 4, then C, which is a third. Now this one, by simplifying, I'll get uh, by 2 once, this becomes 2. This is 6, this is 30, giving us 1 divided by 30, plus these will cancel, giving us here. 1 out of 20 plus this would cancel giving us 1 out of 15. Now this can be simplified. Shall we for that 3 out of 20 as our final result?